The attack on 7th of April prompted military strikes on Syrian government targets by the US, UK, and France a week afterwards. The international group was in the country since Saturday, but has not yet been allowed to go to Doma. Chemical weapons inspectors in Syria will be permitted to go to the website of an alleged chemical attack on Wednesday, Russia has said. Syria and its ally Russia deny any chemical attack took place, with Russia calling it a staged thing. Early on Tuesday, Syrian state media said the country's air defenses had responded to a missile attack over the western city of Homs. The missiles targeted Sherat Air Base, it said, but did not say who fired the missiles. Another report, from the pro-Iranian Hezbollah militia, said that Syrian air defenses had intercepted three missiles targeting Dumair military airport, northeast of the capital Damascus. A Pentagon spokesperson told Reuters, there is no U.S. military activity in that area at this time. Early on Saturday morning Syrian time, the U.S., U.K., and France launched a coordinated missile strike on multiple targets in the country. The operation was in response to a chemical weapons attack the three nations say was carried out by the government of Syrian President Bashar al-Assad, which targeted civilians and killed dozens. Investigators from the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons OPCW, are in the capital, Damascus, but have been waiting to begin their inspection. When they arrive at the site on Wednesday, it will be 11 days since the attack. They are expected to gather soil and other samples to help identify the substances, if any, used in an attack. The U.S. envoy to the OPCW, however, expressed concern that Russia had visited the site and may have tampered with it to impede the investigation. But in an interview for BBC's Hard Talk, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said, I can guarantee that Russia has not tampered with the site. He said the supposed evidence the US, UK, and France said they had was only based on media reports and social media and that such evidence was a staged thing. Mr. Lavrov and others have also criticized the three countries for carrying out the strikes before the OPCW team could conduct their investigation. What we know about the chemical attack. Why is there a war in Syria? What is said to have happened in the Doma attack? When the alleged chemical attack took place on 7th of April, Doma, in the eastern Ghouta region, was a final rebel stronghold near the capital Damascus, having endured months of shelling. Now, it is under the control of the Syrian government and Russian military. Two bombs filled with chemicals were reportedly dropped several hours apart on the town. U.S. sources said they had obtained blood and urine samples from victims which had tested positive for chlorine and a nerve agent. Catch up on the aftermath of the airstrikes. UKPM faces almighty row over strikes. Were the Syria airstrikes legal? Reality check, does Russia always use a veto on Syria? 
How did the airstrikes happen? Late on Friday night in Washington, President Donald Trump addressed the nation, revealing that he had authorized strikes in Syria with the UK and France. As his speech came to a close, the first reports of explosions in Damascus began to emerge. The US says 105 missiles were launched and it believes none were intercepted by Syrian defenses. It says Syria's chemical weapons program has been set back years. The Russians, however, say 71 missiles were shot down by Syrian systems, many of them older Soviet-era defenses. One of the three sites hit was the Bertse complex, which the US says was a center for development production and testing of chemical and biological weapons, although Syria denies this. The other two were suspected chemical weapons facilities at Hemshinchar near Homs.